Hey guys, welcome back to NP Cubing, and today we're going to look at a tutorial on how to solve the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. The first step to solve the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube is to solve the white face, completing the first layer. To solve the white face, you first need to pick a side. I'm going to choose this top face because that already has these two white corners solved. Then you want to put that side at the very bottom. Now you want to find any white corner pieces that would go into the bottom layer. So here we found one. So this is a white, red, and blue corner piece. So if the piece has white, red, and blue, on the bottom layer, we need to check for any corner pieces which have red and blue in them. So let's check. Okay, so blue, we have found one with blue over here, and we found one with red over here. So that means this piece, if it has blue over here, and then it needs to go next to this side to complete the first layer, then it would need to go right here. So we need to find what face the, the, pieces, the corner piece is on. It's on the top top layer over here, but not on the top face. That means it's perfect for us. We want to keep it above the spot that it's in, facing away from us. So not like this, but like this. Then whichever side it's on, then we perform that trigger. So if this is on the right side, then we do the right trigger. R, U, R prime, U prime. So now we have this piece inserted here and almost, we almost completed the first layer. Now we have one piece over here. This is our last white piece and obviously needs to go here. So we face the white away from us and we realize that the, and we notice that the piece is on the right side, so we do the right trigger. R U R prime U prime. Now we have the white face complete and the first layer completed. But you could run into a few problems when you're solving the white layer. The first problem is that there's a white corner piece facing the top, facing up. That means it's in the top face. So we need to find the, p the place that it's supposed to go. So if it's blue and orange, we need to find the blue and orange. So we found blue over here. So that means the piece could go, the piece should go here. Cause if blue is on this side and blue is on this white corner piece, then they need to connect together. And orange is also right here. So if this, the white is facing up, then you need to perform the right or left trigger multiple times until it solves the edge. So I would choose to perform the left trigger since I'm a lefty. So here it goes. L prime, U prime, L, U. L prime, U prime, L, U. So we got a piece solved, but that's not the piece that we're looking for. L prime, U prime, L, U. Now, this piece is inserted over here. And we have a piece over here. Now we just need to align this one up with its diagonal edge. Red, green, green, red, it goes over here. We face white away from us, so pointing that direction. This piece is on the right side, so we do R, U, R prime, U prime. Now we have the white face solved and the first layer solved. The last problem that you might run into is when a white corner piece is in the bottom layer. So over here, we have our last corner piece right here, and it's in the bottom layer. So we need to face that piece away from us. So facing it away from us will mean that white is facing left. So if white's facing left, then we do the left trigger multiple times until it, this piece comes here. L prime, U prime, L, U, L prime, U prime, L, U. And now we have that piece inserted over here, 
solving the white face and the first layer. After we solve the white layer, then we need to make sure that all of the yellow corner pieces are in the correct spots. What that means is, is that if this piece it has yellow, blue, and orange in it, then it needs to be in the spot that it's supposed to be in, but yellow doesn't have to be facing the top or to the right or to the left. It just has to be above blue and orange. So blue and orange are here and it's in the right place. But this piece isn't and this piece isn't and this piece isn't. So now we just have to keep on performing an algorithm which makes sure that it's going to solve all of these edges to put them in the right places. The algorithm is U R U prime l prime u r prime u prime l so now we check do all of the pieces look correct no so we have one piece over here which is correct and one piece and we don't have any other correct pieces so let's do it again u r u prime l prime u R prime, U prime, L. So now, all of these pieces are solved. These two pieces are in the right places. This, the, this piece is in the right place. This piece is in the right place. This piece is in the right place. And this piece is in the right place. Now we move on to the last step. The last step of solving the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube is solving the, the yellow on the top solving the whole entire cube so we need to put the yellow face on the bottom and white on the top then we need to find any yellow pieces which aren't facing the bottom so this piece is so this piece is facing the bottom this the yellow on this piece is facing bottom the yellow on this piece is facing us so we need to put this piece on the right side and keep on performing the right trigger until it faces the bottom R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime. So now this piece is over here. And now we have our last piece over here. So we put that on the right. And we keep on performing the right trigger. You could run into one problem while you're permuting the yellow corners. And that problem is you have these two corner pieces solved in the right permuted. So this piece is correct and this piece is correct. But these two corner pieces are swapped. So when you get that problem, you find these two permuted corner pieces. You find the one on the left and you rotate the cube so that that piece is now on the right. And then you do U R U prime L prime U R prime U prime L. And then you move back the way that it was before. You put this piece in the spot that it's supposed to go in. And you do that same algorithm again. U, R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. And now this piece is permuted, this piece is permuted, this piece is permuted, and this piece is also permuted. Now let's move on to the last step of solving the 2 by 2 The last step of solving this cube is to solve all of the, the yellow corners and then that will solve all the whole cube. So we need to put the white face on the top, which puts the supposed to be yellow face in the bottom. And we find any yellow corners which are not solved yet. So this one is solved. This one is not solved. So if this one is not solved, 
we put that on the right side and we keep on doing the right trigger until it gets solved. R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime. Now this piece is solved, so we move on to the next piece, but we can't move it this way, otherwise it won't solve correctly. So we just turn the bottom face counterclockwise, so D prime. So now this is here. We keep on doing the right trigger. R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime. Now we turn the bottom face counterclockwise again. D prime. Now we do the right trigger. R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U. To solve the 2 by 2 Rubik's Cube. If this tutorial helped you, please like and subscribe.